Hi. Uh, this is Glory Adolfo. Okay. Uh, I will show you this time on the how to calibrate the control valve and also to identify the parts of the pneumatic control valve. Okay. Uh, instrumentation accessories. Okay. So this is a control valve. This part here is the handwheel uh, used for manual opening. Okay. If you turn this uh, clockwise, it will close the valve, and counterclockwise, it will open the valve. So this part here is the actuator. This is the actuator. This is a spring return actuator. And this is the valve stem. This one, this one, valve stem. This is the uh, union or a coupling. Coupling for valve stem and this uh, shaft. So the valve is here. Okay, for the control accessories, here is, uh, there are instrument accessories. This is the air regulator, which regulates the air supply, instrument air supply, this, this, uh, this tubing. And then this is the output. This is the pressure gauge output of the regulator. To control the air pressure, turn this at the cup, this cup, turn it counterclockwise to reduce the air pressure and counter and clockwise to increase the air pressure so this outlet from air regulator goes through the inlet of the positioner this is valve positioner electronic valve positioner uh, made by ABB this one ABB model TZIDC this is the I2P or current to pneumatic transducer. The out the inlet, this one, and the outlet, this one. Going to this is what we call volume booster. This is a volume booster. This is the uh, lock up valve. This volume booster will boost up the uh, signal from this uh, positioner. And then this lock-up valve for fill safe to lock up the position, the current position of the valve in case or the or in the failure of uh, up, uh, air pressure, inlet air pressure or the supply instrument air. So okay, so this is the calibration setup. This block here is the 744 process calibrator okay in the valve positioner we have a terminal this terminal here is the command sig command terminal from the DCS and this terminal here is the output signal or feedback signal going through DCS these two, the two terminals this one and this one used for digital or alarm but in this case uh, it's not used okay so this this wiring here is the command signal we disconnected it uh, this wire because we use the, the we use the process calibrator as our power supply or our command signal the function generator and also we use the uh, DMM or digital multimeter also uh, made by flock model it it is even five it is even five okay this is uh, measuring the milliamp output at the at the uh, feedback of the positioner this is in place in series okay this is the now at zero percent so we expected to measure a four milliamp so this is the actual value closer to 4 milliamp and the 100 percent we expected to measure at 20 milliamp okay so this is very simple how to 
calibrate this position F okay now this is this button is mood and this one is inter this two here is up and down scroll scroll down and scroll up okay um, to calibrate we perform auto calibration now we push the uh, the up and down simultaneously this one and then press the enter button once and then I count down three two one okay now we are in the configuration mode ah no 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 yeah we are in the config configuration mode this is a type of actuator is in linear since the actuation is up and down so we use the linear in case the actuation is uh, in, in rotation so we use we use rotary that's that is rotary but in this case the valve is in linear so we use the linear okay this one not to to perform auto calibration just press mode this one and then plus the up, up or down button so we use up to find the auto adjust that is so okay 1.1 parameter is an auto adjustment okay now first we we examine examine the mode of the calibration if it is a just a stroke calibration or a full calibration okay that that is adjustment mode so this is full meaning uh, once you calibrate in full mode all the parameters like um, control modes or the the PID PID calculation also affected it will calculate automatically in accordance with the with the uh, travel of the steam okay so this is this is this is a to perform a calibration uh, a full full mode is um, is good okay. now it's good to start then press enter a countdown three two one okay oops three two one okay start now the valve is in auto calibration process Okay, as you can see now the valve is raising up. It will take five minutes to complete the auto calibration. This valve uh, used for flow control valve. This line here is his water steam uh, water line. This is a spray water going to the steam steam line to control the temperature of the steam. Yeah. So that the you see the you see it thermo thermo uh, no RTD temperature element there this one so that will sense the actual temperature of the steam and if the temp actual temperature of the steam uh, is very high compared to the seat point so it will the, con the controller at the DCS will send signal to this valve to open a specific 
or an appropriate amount of water to control the steam temperature in accordance with the desired value. Okay. We have also a motor operated valve here for isolation. There is also tag number. Okay, this is the Kiki is tag number and the description of the control valve, spray water flow valve to the super the super heater station. You see the view. So now the valve has completed the calibration process. So you see in the display, complete. Okay. So we will save the new values. Okay, exit. And save. Countdown. Three, two, one. It's now all saved. So it goes back to the original position, the 0% as, as described on the process decalibrator. Now we will apply 25% opening of the valve. So we expect 8 milliamp reading on the uh, milli ammeter. Okay, 25% enter. So the valve, the valve is... Now the, here the indication 25 Okay 25 so, Now look we look at the it, uh, Milliamp okay the, the output is also 8 Milliamp DC Okay Now 50% we expect To read out A 12 milliamps Okay, the same. Uh, Eleven point ninety-eight, the same as twelve milliamp. Okay, also seventy-five for sixteen milliamps. Okay, fifteen point ninety-five, one hundred percent for twenty milliamps. Okay, now uh, it's more uh, closer to twenty. Also, 75. Okay, 50. 12 milliamps. This is the, uh, the, character, the characterization of the control valve is linear. Because the input value, the output value is in linear function to the input value okay zero very good nice calibration okay 
Once again, this is Glory Adolfo. Okay, thank you.